Hey guys, this is another Ranger Squad YouTube video. This one I'm going to discuss real quick on how I wired the LED glow whips that we are now offering on the website for sale. So let's get started. So what I did is did the basic running wires from the positive and negative terminals of the battery, ran those wires down through the engine bay underneath the truck, ran them all the way underneath the truck to where each side has a male and a female end. So the LED whips come with the white female end and the remotes come with the male end that you've actually got to, whoops, that you actually have to run your positive negative wire to. So with that, I just ran the wires I spliced them with the uh, butt connectors and ran from one end of the tailgate of one whip. I spliced them and ran the wires underneath the tailgate or underneath the bed of the truck to the other side and I spliced them. Basic wire AB123, it's simple. Red is red, black is black. The um, male pigtail that comes with the remote has a red and black wire to it. They are both separate. What I have done is I actually um, installed some heat shrink to this to have made to where make the uh, wire a little bit more durable. I really wanted to go and uh, find some uh, plastic tubing flexible tubing that uh, I could run the wires to but this will work for right now and I'm actually happy with it so I just put some uh, heat shrink on uh, the wire I actually tripled it up first I did from the from this side here as you can see there's one layer then I did another layer extending from the other side and then I put a third layer on top there just to make the wire a little bit more durable and then this is basically just a simple uh, CB mount that you get at maybe any pilot store or um, fuel station. Um, once I pre-drilled into the bed of the truck, then installed the, the bolt, it comes with a locking washer and a, uh, and a nut. And what I did is I pre-drilled into the bed and I removed my tail light so I can actually get to that screw and the wires once that's mounted up I ran the wire if you can't see inside here there is a hole so that was perfect for the wire to actually shoot out from there it is so now it's just easy connection to the whip same on the other side just basically pre-drilling again, removing the tail light so I can get to the, the bolt and then putting that locking washer and that nut on there. Again, I ran the other wire to this, same as the other, red on red, black on black, and put some heat shrink on there times three to make this wire a little bit more durable so it doesn't uh, break, uh, maybe if the wires is dangling there or uh, through transport or whatever the issue may be I just wanted to give it some more protection so with that that's what it is here's a uh, real quick close-up look if I can get can't seem to get focus on this but you get the idea. Five feet. Let me turn it on real quick so you guys can see. That's one. And this is just one remote. Each whip comes with a remote, but if you buy more than one whip, this remote will work for this whip too. Got to get to the IR sensor. Whoops. There's that one, and there's that one. All off the same remote. 
like I said, I'll be going, giving you a uh, description and uh, going through all the different options for how these whips work. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit darker and um, I'll post it later on this evening, if not in the morning. Hope you guys enjoy this. They are on the website right now for $100 each for a limited time with the remote. Take care. Thanks, guys.